Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrix Transformation tutorial. Previously we talked about how to rotate a point about the origin um, 90 degrees. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to rotate it um, any amount of degrees that you want. So I'll give you guys an example. So let's say I have a point at x is 1 and y is 0. So x is 1, y is 0. And I have a point over here. And let's say I want to rotate it about the origin. So I'm going to rotate it a certain number of degrees. Let's say this is... 30 degrees and I want to know the coordinates of this point okay so this point is obviously 1 0 but what are the coordinates of this point alright you probably have no idea I have no idea right now so I'm going to show you guys how to do it so let's draw a bigger diagram and let's say from point A, which is at 1, 0, if I rotate it about the origin theta degrees to end up over here, okay, and the line from this point to the origin is theta degrees. And I want to know the coordinates of this point after I've just done the transformation. Okay, so how do I know the coordinates? Well, if you guys have done um, unit circle in trigonometry, it'll be a lot easier. But basically, you can think of this as a circle, as rotating around in a circle. Okay, but I'm not going to draw the circle right now, because that'll be a lot of work but basically the radius of this circle is 1 right because the length over here on the x-axis from the origin to this point is 1 so the distance from this point to the origin is 1 as well now if I draw a vertical line downwards from the image point to the x-axis and I draw a little right angle here then what happens is I can use trigonometry to figure out the y-coordinate and the x-coordinate of this point right because the y-coordinate of this point is just the opposite side and the x-coordinate of the x-coordinate of this point is the adjacent side so using trigonometry, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse side is just 1. So sine theta is opposite. So this side here is equal to opposite, which equals sine theta. And this side here is equal to adjacent, which is equal to cos theta. Right, because cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and hypotenuse is equal to 1. So A equals cos theta. Right, I'll use little a instead of big A. Okay, so the x coordinate of this point is cos theta, and the y coordinate of this point is sine theta. All right, very easy. So what is this saying? This is saying that if x equals 1 and y equals 0, which is my original point, then my x dash will be equal to um, cos theta, and my y dash will be equal to sine theta. Uh, as I've just shown to you, if I rotate it theta amount of degrees, if I rotate it by theta degrees, then my image point will have an x coordinate of cos theta, 
and my y coordinate will be sine theta. This is if I rotate it, not theta degrees. So rotate um, x equals one, y equals one. Rotate it theta degrees about the origin. Okay, so we have done our first option. Now let's try our second option, which is we're going to have our original point at 0, 1. Okay, so this is our original point now. I'm going to call it point B, and it has the coordinate 0 for x, 1 for y. And I'm going to keep rotating it from this point um, to the left about the origin. So I'm going to rotate it theta degrees about the origin. So I'm going to draw a line to the new point over here which is B dash. I'm going to draw a vertical line downwards, I mean to the right, back to the Y axis. And if this angle here is theta, then you can see here that this triangle is identical to this triangle. I know it doesn't look identical at the moment, but it's supposed to be identical. So the distance from B dash to the origin is still 1, because this is the radius of the unit circle. Uh, what is the distance over here? This distance is identical. This distance is identical to this distance. Okay, so what that means is the y coordinate of B dash, the length over here is equal to cos theta. Right, because this side is the adjacent side of this triangle. With theta is over here, then this side is the adjacent side. So I'm going to say if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, then x dash is equal to, uh, we haven't done that yet, y dash is equal to cos theta. Okay, because you can see here this the length of this side is the y coordinate of B dash. So y coordinate is cos theta. Now let's look at the x coordinate. The x coordinate of this point is the distance of this side is the same as the distance of this side, which means it's sine theta. Now because it's to the left of the origin, it'll be the coordinate of this point will be negative sine theta. Right? Negative sine theta. That will be the coordinate of B dash. Negative sine theta, cos theta. Negative sine theta. Okay, so if you guys remember, I have my transformation matrix A, B, C, D. And I use my answer for x dash y dash when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, and I put them in A and C. So I put cos theta and sine theta, and I put my answer for B and D using my um, image from x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, so that's negative sine theta cos theta. So that is the answer for the transformation matrix that I can use to rotate any point about the origin. Okay, so now let's try to apply this point sorry, apply this matrix to rotate an actual point. So I'm now going to give you a random point. Okay, so let's say I give you a point, um, let's say, over here. Okay, so what is this point? Let's say I have x is negative 1 and y is equal to 3. 
Okay, x is negative 1, y is equal to 3. And let's call this point, um, point G, just a random letter. Okay, point G, and I want to rotate, so I want to rotate point G, um, let's say 40 degrees about the origin. Find G dash. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, let's multiply point G. Or let's multiply the transformation matrix, which is cos theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, cos theta, by point G, which is negative 1, 3. Okay, so if we keep working on that, cos theta, theta is 40 degrees. So cos 40, negative sine 40, sine 40, cos 40, multiply by negative 1 and 3. Okay, so let's type these four numbers into the calculator to get the answers. So technically you should not round until you get the final answer. So if you can, just leave it as it is and multiply the two matrices together. And then you should get negative 2.6994 as the x coordinate and 1.6552 as the y coordinate. Okay, now I'm going to try typing these two points into GeoGebra and see if I have successfully transform them. Okay, so let's open up GeoGebra. And the first point that I had was x is negative 1, y is 3. So let's plot that point. And the point that I have calculated is negative 2.6994 and the y coordinate is 1.6552. So if I draw that point on, I have point A here, point B here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this up to the origin, join both points up to the origin using the um, line tool in GeoGebra uh, or segment tool, interval between two points. And let's join it up. And now what I'm going to do is try to find the angle between these two points. So one, two, three. And the angle is 40 degrees. All right, 40 degrees, point zero five. Uh, it's because GeoGebra has rounded my answers. All right, GeoGebra has rounded my answers, so that's why it's producing that angle. Otherwise, it should be 40 degrees exactly. Plus, um, you shouldn't round until you get to the final answer. So just type all of this in, cos 40 times negative 1 minus 3 times sine 40 and get the exact answer um, for it rather than rounding it.